Hello and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke and today we're going to be talking about some of the smallest and most deadly things in the world, viruses. Now unlike diseases, viruses are living organisms that use yours and my cells to reproduce, which kills our cells and can sometimes cause us to get very ill indeed. Now the flu virus is a good example of a virus that you guys might all be familiar with, but now we're going to jump into some you might not be aware of and I certainly hope you never get infected by them with our top 10 rarest viruses found in humans. Okay, at number 10 we have the Enterovirus D68. Now this belongs to a family of viruses that are quite common, but this specific type is quite rare. In fact, it wasn't even discovered until 1962. It causes a number of symptoms in humans ranging from a runny nose to difficulty breathing and mainly affects young people right up until their teenage years, especially those with asthma. In 2014, the reports of this virus started to increase in the US, but health officials told everyone to remain calm, don't panic, it's still pretty rare at the moment. Coming in at number 9, we've got the Yunin virus. Now this virus takes its name from the Argentine city of Yunin, where it was first discovered back in 1958. The virus originally lived in rodents such as rats, and in fact still uses them as its main form of transportation to get from place to place. Now because of this, humans tend to only become infected if they come into direct contact with rodent feces. So basically rat poo. Yeah. That warning is for any of you guys out there who were thinking of touching some rat poo today. Just don't do it. Now once you're infected by the virus, sufferers experience chills, headaches and vomiting and if this is left untreated, it can cause serious internal bleeding and mental trauma. In fact, of those people who are infected by it, 10 to 30% end up dying as a result. Okay, at number 8 now, we have the Pandora virus, which is actually giant. Okay, it's not like giant compared to us. It's still pretty tiny, but it's huge compared to other known viruses. It's said to be one micrometer in length, which is about 10 times the size of some of the smaller viruses out there. It was first discovered in 2014 and it's so big that you can actually see it underneath your average school microscope. But its size isn't even the strangest thing about it. Scientists were amazed to find that only 6% of its DNA was known to humans and that it's possible that the ancestor of this virus could have come from Mars. How mad is that? A virus from Mars. Okay, for our number seven now, we have the bourbon virus, not the drink, the virus. In 2014, an American man from Kansas died after being bitten by ticks. Scientists took blood samples to study, but were surprised to find no trace of any virus known to man. Instead, they had discovered a whole new one. It belonged to a whole group of viruses called Thogotoviruses, and they named it bourbon after the county it was first discovered in. Now, this this was only the 8th recorded case of someone falling ill to a virus of this nature, so it seemed pretty rare, but some scientists actually think it could have infected many more people, but it hasn't caused any noticeable diseases except for those few we just mentioned a second ago. Let's just hope it stays that way. Okay, moving on to number 6 now, we have a difficult one. Lymphocytic chorio-meningitis. Yes. Now you guys aren't going to believe this. I don't believe it myself. Uh, but that was actually my first try at saying that. Nice. And that rhymes with mice, which is how this virus travels. See what I did there? What a cool segue. Now it's estimated that 5% of all house mice in the US carry LCMV. One of the main symptoms of this infection by this virus is severe muscle ache that can eventually lead to drowsiness and a swelling of the brain. Now I personally I personally hate it when I hear anything about the brain swelling. It sounds actually horrendous, like a nightmare. The infection from this virus can be passed from mother to unborn baby as well, and in rare cases, it can even cause paralysis. But guys, and it's a big but, I cannot lie, the vast majority of people who are infected by LCMV survive. And despite the vicious symptoms it can cause, less than 1% of people who get infected are thought to die from it. Okay, next up at number 5 now we have the Takarai virus. It was first isolated in bats in Trinidad during the late 1950s. It was thought to be a virus that was mainly transmitted through rodents and scientists didn't really learn too much about it simply because it was so rare. There just weren't any cases out there to 
the study. But then, in 2014, the virus was found in ticks in the USA. Now, scientists were amazed because they'd never seen a virus like this being transferred by ticks. The ticks were found in three Florida state parks, and some of them are known to be parasites on humans. And at number four now, it's the Powassan virus. Now, this virus is definitely rare, but has been known to be fatal to people for many years. Between 2000 and 2011, the Powassan virus killed 49 people in the US. Now, thankfully, this number is a lot lower than other viruses out there, but the symptoms are said to be just as vicious. There's the usual ones you might expect, the physical reactions such as vomiting, seizures, and brain swelling. I still hate the thought of that. Ah! But the Powassan virus is also said to have a lasting impact on the person's mental state. By attacking the brain and spinal cord, this virus can cause a complete loss of coordination, difficulty in speaking, and total confusion over what's going on. Sounds like an average Friday night for me. Like many others on this list, there is no known cure. All right, coming up next for our number three, it's the Heartland virus. That's a cool name. I like that name, but this virus is just as nasty as the rest of them. Discovered in 2009, the Heartland virus is spread by the Lone Star Tick. So if you see one of these fellas with a little white dot on his back, Run, just run, or pluck them off with little tweezers. Now, Heartland virus is said to spread very quickly and causes a fever in people that can reach 38 degrees. That's crazy, crazy hot. The good news is that although it started to affect humans, there have only been 10 cases of it, and they were all in middle-aged white men. That's not why they caught the virus though, they all had one thing in common, they spent a lot of time in the great outdoors. Next up at number two, we have the human paracovirus. Now this one is especially bad because it mainly affects newborn babies. Like, come on, just leave the babies alone. Like, what have they ever done to you? Just little babies. There was a recent outbreak in New Zealand in 2012 where the virus was found in the poo of a sick two-year-old. That's how you make baby poo even more gross, stick a deadly virus in it. But all joking aside though, guys, it's a pretty scary virus that infects the blood of newborn babies and causes severe inflammation of the brain that can lead to paralysis. Now, doctors say that if an outbreak happens near you, make sure you wash your hands, obviously, and keep anything babies touch as clean as possible. And Danny says, stay away from their poo too. I want that on a t-shirt, I want that slogan right here. All right, coming in at number one, we have the Marburg virus. Now, this is a really scary one. It's often called the most deadly virus in the world. It was first identified in 1967 in infected monkeys from Uganda. Soon after infection, the virus causes illnesses starting with headaches and sometimes causing severe hemorrhaging, which is where the body cannot stop bleeding. I've had nightmares that sound a lot like what this virus does to you. These symptoms often lead to devastating fatality rates. During the outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo between 1998 and 2000, 80% of people infected by this virus ended up dying. Well, those were some pretty nasty viruses, some pretty horrific stuff there, but remember the title of the video, guys, up above me? They are pretty rare, so don't worry too, too much, just a little bit. Maybe, just maybe, stay with me, I was thinking, right, what if the Earth is actually a living thing, right, and humans are the virus? We're the virus, like, ah, yeah. No? Okay, maybe just me. Okay, I should probably go now, but guys, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you learned something, anything at all. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all our content here on Most Amazing Top 10. My name's Danny Burke, and I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs>